tying it in the bottom of the fourth against the Bulls of South Florida, an AAC-ACC matchup here at Hauser this evening. Parker Messick has looked awfully impressive tonight. Looked really good on Saturday, too. Only pitched an inning in that one. He's now worked a little over that here tonight. See what he can do as we head to the top of the fifth in a tied ball game between the Bulls and the Knolls. J.D. Dutka has struck out and walked in the first and the third. This is the third trip through the order for South Florida. The 2-3-4 first up for the Bulls. Looking that fastball in there on, on the hands, foul tip. Before the injury in 2019 and before hitting 300 in 2018, Dutka transferred into South Florida from Florida Southwestern State College, was a first team all conference and second team all state as a sophomore there. It's a blooper on the infield, and Carter Smith decided to hang on to it instead of trying to rifle a throw into first. Unusual to see a hard chop ball in this ballpark, especially after all the rain this field took. Yeah. On Sunday. Team did practice some yesterday. And it was it was heavy, heavy air yesterday and some mist. Oh, must have hit the corner of the plate or something bounced up high. Good enough for a base hit. Speaking of base hits, Riley Hogan two for two tonight, including a single back in the third. On top of that ball, down low and in as the count goes one and one. That holds Dutka at first. Hit the ball harder right field and off Messick's first pitch. Back in the third. Runners had a hard time reading that ball and where it was going to carry him to off the fence. A lot of times you'll see those balls off the fence result in doubles. Runners held up and he had nowhere to go. It was a single for him and South Florida wasn't able to at the moment put any runs across they had to settle for loading the bases and then of course a couple would come in off the air one two count to Hogan make it two and two 34 pitches now for Parker Messick Two innings of work for the freshmen so far. Uh oh, somebody got crossed that. Matt Nelson looking for a fastball and hit with the breaking pitch. I'm sorry, that ball was away. 3 2 count here. Five of the six outs that Messick has recorded so far tonight have been strikeouts. Here's a full count pitch. Full foul. In college baseball shown a lot of the hitters are fastball hitters. They're looking for fastball. Again, the second time or so in tonight's ball game, both pitching staffs are throwing off speed curveballs on a 3-2 count. So what does Messick go to this time? Trying to stick a fastball. It's ball four, and multiple base runners are now aboard for South Florida. Over through that pitch. Bring up the third baseman, Dylan Buck. A fly out and a strikeout. He's 0 for 2 tonight. And 
now comes Mike Martin Jr. for the second time tonight. Couple of arms up in the bullpen. Looks like Chase Haney is one of those, and Jonas Scalaro is the other. Haney with a couple of appearances against Niagara, and Scalaro was one of several arms used in the ninth on Friday against the Purple Eagles. He has not played since. Biggest thing in this situation, you're going out, you got a freshman pitcher on the mound, you got a freshman first baseman, and you got a, a senior at third who hasn't played third base all year. I know they practiced a little bit yesterday, but Mike Martin Jr. wanted to go out and make sure all these guys are in, in sync if they would put down a sacrifice bunt here, first and second, nobody out. Back to the action we go. Dylan Buck. 0 for 2. Takes a strike. Getting the breaking pitch. Five appearances last season. Started 18. That was primarily as the third baseman. Count for Messick now with this next one will be 40. The breaking ball, that one away. Messick is trying to work away, maybe entice a ground ball in this situation. Just about to say, work down in the zone. One ground ball gets you a couple of outs, potentially. Ball's lifted foul. It'll go two and two. Get those same two. Experience there. Uh -huh. Chase Haney, Jonas Calero for Florida State. Daytime chance from section B on a 2 2 pitch to the third baseman. Smith steps on the bag, and they get the force at third. Smart heads up play by the senior third baseman. As I mentioned, first game he's played over there this year. That ball, Sean, is not hit hard enough for a double play ball. Get the out, get the tag to the bag there, and keep your force. So the lead runner is eliminated, and the runners on base remain at first and second. Is now Buck stationed at first. First pitch swinging his last time up, popped up to third base. That ball lifted out into center field. This is playable. Albert ranges in. He's underneath it. Two down. And swinging there, got the pop up. Two out. And once again. Parker Messick in a bit of a sticky situation. Comes on out, gets a couple of necessary outs, and at 43 pitches, a solid night's work appears to be over for the freshman Messick tie ball game in Tallahassee. 